I'm here with heavyweight sensation, top contender, knockout artist, the new Ernie Shavers, Amir Hardcore Mansoor, who won knockout of the year, his sensational knockout of big Fred Kazi, and you also got another Briscoe Award for being in the Philly Fight of the Year. Yeah, yeah. What does the Briscoe Award mean to you, Amir? Um, it means a lot. I remember when I first turned pro and I came to one of these uh, mm -hmm. award shows and Bernard Hopkins was receiving the award. Right, Fight of the Year. You know, and um, so to years later, you mm -hmm. know, receive a couple awards myself, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, mm -hmm. it means a lot, man. It means mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. The knockout of the year, people know you as a big puncher, but we have yeah. seen so much. Talk to me about that knockout. It also won Sports Illustrated Knockout of the Year. I mean, I just was working in, you know, the whole, you know, the whole fight, man. Right. Broke him down. The 10 second bell rung, mm -hmm. and I just decided to push a little bit hard at, you know, last couple seconds of the round. Mm -hmm. um, he was fading, overhand left, underhand right. Mm -hmm. Caught him flush with, you know, both punches basically. Mm -hmm. He's okay. out of there. Mm -hmm. I listened to both you and Steve Cunningham today. And you guys have a lot of respect and admiration for each other. Yeah, for sure. And you knew each other before the fight of the year. Right. How were you guys able to separate that and put on such a great performance? Well, we both have families to feed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. And, um, we're athletes, man. Mm -hmm. We're athletes, you know. And um, I knew that he was going to come in that ring and give it his best shot. And, mm -hmm. you know, I was going to go in there and give it my best mm -hmm. shot. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, nothing but, you know, success has mm -hmm. come our way, you know, as a result of that fight, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just a great thing, man. You know, mm -hmm. two good fighters, man, going to put on a good fight, you know, okay. every time. Mm -hmm. Your recent fight against Gerald Washington. Yeah. We watched it. We all thought you won, mm -hmm. unanimously. They called it a draw. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that fight. Um, I thought that he got a couple of the early rounds. In, right. And, um, you know, I learned a lot when I fought Steve. Right. So I le I learn I'm learning how to be patient now mm -hmm. in that ring mm -hmm. and, 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 and be thoughtful in the mm -hmm. ring. And that's what I was doing, man, being patient, not getting, you know, out of my, you know, mindset, losing my composure. And um, after about the fourth round, man, I felt like I took control of the you fight. You wore him down with body shots. Took charge of the fight. Mm -hmm. He was running so much. <laughs> And, and because of his height, it was mm -hmm. almost impossible, you know, to hit him mm -hmm. in the head at times. So I just said, I'm just going to rip his body apart because that was the closest mm -hmm. thing to me. But, um, I mean, man, it, it's sad when you get a decision like that because mm -hmm. I worked very hard right. preparing mm -hmm. for that fight, mm -hmm. you know. And, 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 and I got a family, you know right. what I mean, mm -hmm. to feed. I mm -hmm. got a career that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm holding on to, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so for it to be taken away from you, a win, mm -hmm. out of just pure unfairness, man, right. it, it's really ridiculous. Um, the lady, Miss Bird, you know, I don't think that she had any ill intent mm -hmm. in her way of scoring the right. fight. But I also think that she should rethink mm -hmm. her job and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and be evaluated, you know, and, 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 and really, you know, step aside, you know, mm -hmm. from doing this because mm -hmm. she's consistent in judging this way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like this is her first time right. being so far off from the other two judges that she sits down with. And, you know, she has to realize that these, this is our lives, man. Right. This is our careers. And, 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 you know, for her to be sitting in that chair making these type of calls, man, it, 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 it's just really humanly unfair, man. It's, it's just a terrible thing, man. We thought you won. Ringside commentators had you winning the fight. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah. But I don't see it as a setback because the entire nation saw it. Yeah. What can we look forward to in 2016? I know you want Deontay Wilder. Yeah, definitely want Deontay, man. You know, hopefully um, he saw some kinks in my armor. <laughs> 
that, um, you know, he okay. said, well, you know, if Gerald could do that good against him, you know, I could beat him. You right. Know what I mean? Okay. And um, hopefully that'll be the mindset over at Deontay's camp. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they see some chinks in the armor and, and, and they want to give it a shot, man, you know? Other than that, man, I just want to fight the best out there, man. I believe that I'm the best heavyweight mm -hmm. that this country has. And, and I want to prove that. And the only way to prove that is in the ring and fighting the best. Fighting the best. Well, congratulations on your two awards. Congratulations on your victory. Yeah on television even though you didn't get the decision you won the fight and we're looking forward to some big things in 2016. For sure man for sure congratulations all right man thank y'all man Here come the hot snapper, I'm the lyrical gangster, Big up the crew in the air.